Hello everybody, this is Shane again. Now you might wonder, well Shane, what you going to do now that you're not going to teach Bible studies anymore? Well what I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk to you about the Bible. In a different way. I'm not going to quote the scripture to you. Because either you're going to read the Bible or you're not. Now let's get honest here. I'm not here to force you to accept anything that you don't want to accept except to introduce you to Jesus. That's my whole purpose in life is to let you know that Jesus loves you and forgives you for your sins. Now there are laws that you have to follow. You know, you, no matter what I say, you have to live by the laws of the land as long as they're not um, against the word of God. Now, you shouldn't receive the mark of the beast no matter what. If you receive it, you can always cut it out, but you got to be willing to do that. Now, if you receive it in your right eye, or your right eye, and our, or your forehead, you can always cut it out. Now the whole point is that would be something crazy for you to do. Why would you receive a mark just to buy and sell? But you can tell by the way we got these scanners now that we're heading in that direction. All someone has to do, all something that has to happen is bottom falls out once and then we're all in the same boat. And then we're all up the creek without a paddle. If the economy fails, where are we going to stand? So we have to keep going and keep trying and keep working through our problems. Now, I've been around child molestation, so that's why I'm talking about it and stuff like that. Now, in the Bible, you read the story of Lot and his daughters. They, uh, knew their father after they escaped from Sodom and Gomorrah. Now this was of God, this was to show the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah even affected Lot's daughters. And they knew their father and stuff like that. Now the, these are Old Testament principles. And you might say, well why does God allow us to sin? If God doesn't want us to make these mistakes, why are we allowed to make them? Because it's a choice. God can't physically stop you from sinning. It's like, you know, how can you restrain a person from doing something you can physically do? You can physically have sex with any person you want to have sex with. That's just life. But, you know, you know better and you use your common sense. Now that's the whole point to everything. You should know better and should be with one partner. Well, can I be in things like pornography and still be a Christian? Yeah, you can, as a matter of fact, if you're only with one person. That's the whole point to what the Bible means. If you're with one person, even if you put it on uh, as a sex tape, that's fine. As long as you're just with one person of the same or opposite sex. Now, I'm saying same or opposite for um, my gay friends and my straight friends. Now, I can't make you become straight if you're gay, and I can't make you become gay if you're straight. That ain't my job. My job is to help you to deal with your sexuality as best you can. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to tell you though there are judgments against you that Satan will judge you and he already is judging you for your sins. Satan is the one who carries out the wrath of God on the earth. It's not God himself who is bitter and sweet. God himself is a just God. 
Now, if you want to get saved, all you have to do is believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, as did the eunuch in Acts chapter 8. Now, if you want to read it, you can read the story about Philip and the eunuch, and how the eunuch came to believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, and made his confession and was baptized. Now, in the New Testament, you see baptism by full submersion rather than um, sprinkling, but you can also sprinkle as well. Now, the Catholics, they'll pour water over a child when it's a baby and call that baptism. And that's metaphorically... Uh, a way to baptize your child but what it is is sprinkling you're sprinkling the water upon the child's head now there's a scripture that allows for that and gives the parents the opportunity to do that now you might say well why would God allow sprinkling because of grace because we're all saved by grace through faith, not of works, least any man should boast. And that's the whole point. We are all saved by the words of our mouth, and by our behavior, and by our coming to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ ain't the one making all the rules. It's men who think they know Jesus, and then want to either change it, or make it different, or want to do things their own way and that's the problem we're all like that we all want to do things our own way instead of letting Jesus be Jesus and save us all now the whole point is we can know the love of Jesus unconditionally and it don't matter what we do if you love Jesus unconditionally, he'll love you unconditionally. If you say Jesus is the Son of God, you're doing a good work. If you're trying to live a righteous and holy life, you're doing a good work. And it's Jesus who will save you. If you want to get saved, just say, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God could raise him from the dead and I confess it with my mouth and believe it in my heart. That's all you got to say. Anything more than that is just, you know, make-believe. Well, if it's so simple, Shane, why do you have to tell us? Because it's within your power to choose the path you choose. I can't make you choose to do anything but to love yourself and to love your neighbor as yourself and that's the whole message from God the whole message from God isn't judgment 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 but love mercy and forgiveness and that's the whole point I'm trying to reach you and get you to call upon the name of God of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins if you just call upon the name Jesus Christ and say, I believe Jesus Christ died for my sins, then you're doing a good work. And that's the whole point.